and we're back to learning JavaScript using Exorcism. This is exercise 2, it's this lasagna exercise and you can find it in the syllabus when you start the basic concept. Read through it yourself and let's just start the exercise. We'll go right into the editor. Let us go to task 1. We simply have to define a constant, the name is given and also the value is given. So 40 minutes in this case. We can omit the first part of this comment and start right here. Let us copy this name. So we should just type in 40 as minutes is given as a unit. And if you run it, you might have this issue. So we've forgotten something. And I made this mistake when I first tried this exercise. I simply forgot that it must be exported. So write export before it. And now if you run the test, it should work. Another common mistake is to forget the semicolon. So check that if you get a failed message. Let's go to task two. We've already got the function, which is remaining minutes in oven. And we'll have to adjust it. Let me delete this line. We've got a parameter for the function which is actual minutes in oven and it should return how many minutes the lasagna still has to remain in the oven based on the expected time. So we'll return our expected minutes in oven which was 40 Just copy, paste, and then minus our per meter, which is actual minutes in oven. Once again, don't forget the semicolon. And if we run the test, that should be task number two. And we can also open this one and look at the tests. So for example, the first one gives us 25 minutes as actual minutes in oven. So that's the value for a parameter. And if we look at expected minutes in oven 40 minus 25, we should get 15. And this is exactly what this function does. Let's go to task three. We've got a new function, preparation time in minutes. We've already got it right here. Let me delete this line. I will adjust the function now. We need the number of layers, which is the parameter of this function. So each layer takes two minutes to prepare. So number of layers times two minutes. Or you can simply use the constant that we've defined right here that says two minutes. So if you just do it like this, the task should be correct. Or we can also copy the constant and paste it right here in case that this preparation time might be adjusted in the future. And you can see it is passed. And again, let's just use number of layers one and 1 times the preparation minutes per layer, 2, gives us the result 2. As I said, you can also just write 2 for 2 minutes into it. But it's a good idea to use this constant in case the preparation minutes per layer change. Let us go to task number 4. Once again, a new function, total time in minutes. Let me delete this line of code. This time we've got two parameters, 
number of layers and extra minutes in oven. Again, we are supposed to return something. In this case, it's how many minutes in total we've worked on cooking the lasagna. And this is defined as the sum of the preparation time in minutes and the time in minutes the lasagna has spent in the oven. So we can use our prior function, which is this one, preparation time in minutes. We can copy this line of code out of the function or just use the function directly. Let me show you both. And we should add, so we've got a sum as given in a task, the action minutes in oven right here. Preparation time in minutes also has a parameter, which is number of layers. So we'll copy this one and paste it right here. And if we run it, it should pass. So if we use 1 and 5 as parameters for this function, we'll get 1 times 2 minutes for the preparation time and 5 minutes for the actual time in the oven, which equals 7 minutes in total. As I've said, we could have also used this line, copied it, and I put it right here, and it still works. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.